You can always be part of Eyewitness Report by simply downloading the Channels TV app. Tap on the Witness menu and follow the simple steps on how to upload your story. Do always add your location and phone numbers so we can get in touch with you and follow up on your story or happenings around you. Let's see the stories that you sent in for the week. Let's see some of the stories and videos that you sent in earlier this week, beginning with this one showing what's left of a building, which according to our eyewitness reporter, houses a radio station, Fresh FM in Ibadan, the Oyo State Capital. He reports that the station was demolished partially by the state government, allegedly over non-compliance with the state's building approval. Similar to that is this video from the Muwe Bafo axis of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway showing this gridlock, which the eyewitness reporter says lasted for hours. He laments how commuters travelling out of Lagos State were held as they could not exit the gridlock until late into the night. According to him, it took about four hours to get to Magburu from Kara, which should not have taken more than 10 minutes. Still on traffic situations, this next image is from the Mile 2 Badagri area of Lagos State. Our eyewitness reports. Our eyewitness gives details on how motorists were also held for more than three hours in this axis. Our next image is from Oshogo, the Oshun State capital, southwest Nigeria, showing these people, whom our eyewitness reporter describes as academic staff of the Ladoki Akintola University of Technology, protesting over poor funding of the state university. Our eyewitness reporter is lamenting an alleged neglect of the university by the Oyo and Oshun State governments, who co-own the institution. He wants both states to give more attention to the running of a school to prevent the perennial closure over funding. Finally is this set of images from Isekwato community in Abia State, southeast Nigeria, showing the poor state of a road. Our eyewitness reporter says the road connects other major networks and adjoining communities. She is raising concerns over the gradual erosion of the road. She wants the state government to do something about this predicament that the people find themselves in as she claims the road has been like this for more than 10 years. Those are your pictures and videos. Do keep more coming. And that is where we'll be calling it a wrap on this edition. Next week, we could be in your neighborhood if you're sending your stories in line with the given guidelines. Thank you for watching. I am Jomi Otaigui.